My love life is a mess. Hi, Xavier. My summer, it was okay. Just, uh, pretty standard. Pathfinder, you have new email. Great. Drac, fire breathing Still thresher moths? For a human. You saw the perfect drop zone just in time. Well, we humans get lucky sometimes. I'm glad to have that kind of luck on my flight deck. What if you have no love life? Well, that's pretty much how I exist in this game. From Drac, hey kid, you ever play fire breathing thresher malls of doom? Heck of a game. Vetra somehow scared me up a copy. Meet me at Vortex and we'll play. Alright. I'm free. Hello, Ryder, I'm out. Your visit must have shaken things up, hmm? Come on by the Nexus and I'll tell you everything if you tell me all about that remnant city you found. It'll be nice to see you without bars between us. Okay. Uh, from Cora. That remnant city got me thinking about my rose garden, preparing the ground, planting for the future, all that. So the Jardan made the Angara, but what's the end goal? Were they part of some grand plan, preparing the ground for something else? Wonder if the Jardan had bigger plans for the cluster and where we'd fit in. I don't care, Cora. Hi, Callow. I'm trying the new auto address system you suggested. Hope it got your last name right. I wanted to say something. Thank you doesn't cover what it means to have someone share the burden. I'm tracking every credit, though. Prepare yourself for a windfall later. Fly safe. Oops, don't worry about this, Ryder. I'll take care of it. What? <clears throat> Does Callow have a girlfriend? Is that what that is? From Liam. I don't talk about stuff like this because my mouth's an idiot. Fair point. So is your couch. But we're in weird space now. The Jardan made a people. Back in the Milky Way, we were knocking on the door of stable clones, but that's different. The bits are already there. It's snapped together. So I go down this hole about making life, and then I start thinking about Sam. Your dad made a kind of life. This amazing technical achievement that I look at and just... I can't even really get the edges of it. And it's in your head. That's pretty damn special. Like, I need another reason to think Pathfinder is something different here. I don't know the point of this. Sometimes you just write, right? Liam has included a list of media themed to creation. Genre includes theological talk, scientific papers on technological integration, and a 1995 vid about an AI's choice of footwear? Okay, then. I'll see you later, Kitten Lily. Your summer was boring until you had summer camp. Oh, that's exciting that you got the Switch. I hope you're enjoying it. What games do you have for it? Uh, okay. Ket Facts from Lexi. <clears throat> Ryder, I've started my thesis on Ket Anatomy and thought you would enjoy some of the interesting facts I've discovered. Ket have 332 bones in their body. For comparison, human adults have 206. Ket have no reproductive organs. Well, why would they? Similar to Turians and Quarians, Ket are... Digitigrades? I think that means that they have those weird... Like, their legs are kind of bent weird. I think that's what that means. I don't know. The bone-like armor that covers their bodies are actual bones. Okay. They've doubled the amount of taste buds as the average human. So they're connoisseurs of food, is what you're saying. Uh, the last person you want to hear from, okay. From Dr. Medro Aiden. I should be brief. No doubt the good Major Salen Varn is watching any comm channels I might use. The others and I understand the huge responsibility we face for what we've done. In addition to the details I've sent to your Sam, we intend to quietly filter intelligence to the militia and feed falsified data back to the Ket as much as we dare. Small degrees of change, but even that can make a great difference down the line. Lastly, thank you for calling me despicable. I need to remember that as I remember the screams aboard the Archon's flagship. Okay, so I th I'm pretty sure that's the guy who, like, sold out some of the Solarians. Uh, from Lexi, Ryder, Liam's movie night seems to be catching everyone's interest, especially Drac and PB. They're, well, perhaps we should talk. We might head off a medical emergency before it happens. What? What? Uh, Lexi. We need to have a talk. Maybe I should talk to PB. Welcome to the Switch Club. Every restaurant would fear them. Yes, they would. I'm still trying to make sense of everything we learned at the Remnant City. I can't believe the Angara are... designed. What are the implications? Far too many to sift through at once. It's mostly for the Angara to figure out. I can't imagine what this will mean to them. 
Helios is more and more interesting every minute. Anything you want to talk about before we head back into it? Guess not. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Yeah, I do. I don't want to talk to Suvi. I want to talk to Lexi. If it'll let me. Did she leave? Lexi, we gotta talk about movie night. Where you go? Is the movie night the very last thing you're going to do? Um, I don't know. I don't really have a have a plan. Anybody in the kitchen? No. It's my night off. Uh, oh gosh. I don't remember approving that. Anyway. I can break bones just as well as I can mend them, Pathfinder. Not mine. What are you reading? Harry's latest report on Scott. He's a troublesome patient. So you're not really taking the night off. <laughs> Work-life balance has never been my strong suit. You're in a new galaxy. Perfect time to change old habits. Hmm. If only it were that simple. How do you do it? Be both you and the Pathfinder. I don't really think about the Pathfinder thing when it comes to friends, family. Reyes? Sure, I have a responsibility to them. But I don't let it define me or our relationship. Sometimes, just sometimes, real wisdom comes out of that Thick skull of yours. Why are you dragging me, Lexi? A compliment? I'll take it. Wait. You're psychoanalyzing me. Always. Okay, can we talk about the movie situation? Uh, you have Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and you have a Japanese account, so you've been playing Monster Hunter Double Cross. Well, that's cool. You're thinking, or you're going to buy Mario Odyssey or Sonic Forces. I think Mario Odyssey looks really good. I'm intrigued by it. I like that you can put them in different outfits and like ride scooters and crap. I think that would be fun. How easily do I get scared from horror movies? I don't like horror movies. I'm not I'm not an interesting person to scare because I don't like scream and jump around and you know, I don't do that. It's more of like I just get really paranoid and I already have trouble sleeping, so it's more like that. But I just don't, I just don't really like horror movies. I can't do gore anyway. I will throw up or pass out. So I just tend to avoid horror movies as a genre. Two days until your birthday. That's exciting. Happy birthday. You going to Black Angus with your parents? You haven't had a good stick in forever, so I'm excited. That's great, Umbreon's RS. Hope you guys have fun. I hear Liam's planning to show some vids. If our duties ever give us time. Explains why Drac and Peavy are distilling something unsavory. Screw up the measurements and bathtub pooch can leave you blind, or worse. We can do better. Better how? An Asari liquor called Acantha. They used to run these wonderful black and white ads. There might be a bottle on the Nexus. It wouldn't be too expensive, I'm sure. Let me know if you find it. You guys I'll just... I'll let you get back to it. It's taking I'll be so here long. If you need me to put this <laughs> movie night together. H. Smooth says Insomnia sucks. Thank God for Kita Stardew vids and Dark Souls lore. <laughs> yeah, the Stardew vids are pretty chill. Gone Home was pretty chill, too. If you're looking for something to help you sleep. <laughs> oh, you can feel free to share the horror movie with everybody else. Eco likes horror movies. Joel, where are you? Joel? Joel? Who is he talking to? Gotta say, you're handling this much better than I would. Same here. I'd get nosebleeds just thinking about it. Where 
are you? Back again? Aliens was the first movie that scared you. Alien, I liked Alien as a horror movie. Like, I thought it was a good movie, but I just, it was too gross. Like, I just get really, really grossed out very easily. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. And then just, like, pass out. <laughs> like, it doesn't, it doesn't take much to make me sick in that way. Where Vetra and Joel at? I thought they were up here. So if they weren't up here, and they're not over there, where were they talking to me from then? You can't handle horror anything very well. They make you paranoid and unable to sleep. Yeah, games don't really do that for me as much. Um... But movies, for some reason, do. Hey, Ryder. What are we going to do if Meridian isn't what we expect? What do you mean? What if it isn't where it's supposed to be? Or it doesn't work the way we think it does? Let's not worry about things we don't know yet. It's just we never really know what we're going to get with this remnant stuff. I've been going back and forth. Glee one second, worry the next. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Learn that the hard way. We still have to try. We still have to hope. You're right. Of course you're right. We didn't give up through the worst of it, and we're not going to start now. Whatever happens, let's try to have fun doing it. Haven't we so far? Two galaxies worth. Oh, see you later, Xavier. Okay, so I guess we need to get liquor. <laughs> we should probably just head to the Nexus, because then we can also talk to the reporter while we're there. Uh, Scarlet Vixen says, I bet you're okay with horror games because you're actively engaged in the game and have a modicum of control with a horror movie. You're just along for the ride. Yeah, that's probably it. Plus, I don't know, like, game- gore in games doesn't usually bother me because I know that it's fake. But if it looks real, then it- it gets to me. And that's more so movies than games. There have been a few games that I've had to be like, oh, but for the most part, it's- movies or tv shows that get me pathfinder just the person i wanted to see meridian set on a path its creators disrupted by the scourge now lost an unmanned ship is at the mercy of ocean currents now think of meridian as the ship and the scourge as the ocean if we can somehow predict the currents and track them we could figure out where the ocean's taken the ship In some horror games, you can shoot things in the face. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I don't know what you mean, Ily Avon. I am. That's genius. The scourge is the sea, moving objects around. It's not a precise analogy, of course, but it illustrates the point. Dr. Anwar's suggestion may indeed be our best chance of finding Meridian. The more we know about the Scourge, the better we can predict how it affects the things it comes in contact with. We'll need better data. Probes for the Scourge and Garen star charts. The Initiative made charts of Helios from the Milky Way 600 years back. Perfect baseline. I can compare that to Helios at present. It'll give us numbers, but 
One set won't be enough. She stole my hairstyle. Yeah. What exactly do we need right now? That's what happened. Number ends are us. Readings from within the scourge itself, collected by probes, planted a few points. Once enough data is collected, we'll need initiative resources for mining and analysis. Once that is done, I can build a predictive model that will recalculate Meridian's path. Okay. Well, sounds like a fine plan. I guess we won't know for sure unless we give it a shot. Everyone's counting on us. Let's bring them home. You kidding me? Suvi's got nothing on me. Suvi sucks. Probe away. This is one of the chosen data collection nav points. We should release a probe. Time for probes. We've arrived at a scourge nav point appropriate for data collection. Probe deployed. Well, that was quick. So we don't want to finish this mission because that'll put us past the point where we can't do side quests anymore. So I'm just gonna find these clusters and then we'll move on to, some, to a different mission. This is one of the chosen data collection nav points. Oh, see you later, Ilya Ivan. Approaching one of the ideal probe locations, Pathfinder. Data collection probe ready for placement. Okay. The areas in and out of looks like we're coming up on a blue giant. The areas out in space are color coded. Be first to rise. Don't look at me. Probes launched. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh. Probes launched. There we go. Probes launched. Intense scourge activity is common in this area. Might be worth planting a probe. Don't tell me where to probe. We've I'll probe where I please. For data collection. All right, let's switch up our mission then. Uh, was this in the Nexus? Vortex. Aha, it is on the Nexus. All right, we'll go do that then. And then we need to buy that liquor on the Nexus. All right. Hey, John Monroe, what is up? You had to restart Twitch. Um, I was just scanning these Scourge areas but I switched missions because I don't want to do that mission yet. Because uh, that one will trigger the end of the game if we get too far. So we're going to head to the Nexus. Papa Scarlet's listening to the stream. Hi, Papa Scarlet. Everyone say hello. 
Don't be inappropriate. We've got parents in the room. It was your birthday yesterday? That's so cool. And you got enough money to buy a Switch? Heck yes. Which one are you going to get? The gray one? Or the neon one? You're back again with ice cream. Well, I envy you. He says hi back. <laughs> Everyone says hi. Okay. So we need to head to the bar. Because Drac is the waiting for us. Survivors, and they're willing to help. Who are you? They'll be great allies. Who are you talking to? Calm down, Ryder. There's no one there. You want the gray one? Awesome. Are you gonna, like, which games are you gonna pick up? Hey, man. The others aren't here yet, but it shouldn't be long. The others? Cash and Born. If we're gonna teach a Krogan games, we're gonna need more Krogan. Born doesn't bug you as much as you pretend he does, huh? Probably just wants to yeah, take his money. Don't tell anyone. He's smart, real handy with plants, kept the colony alive and going after we left the Nexus. Cash made a good choice there. Not that I had any say in the matter. So, fire-breathing Thresher Maws of Doom? Ah, that's right. Pretty basic game. First one Krogan kids usually play. I've seen vids, and I know Thresher Maws are damn huge. But, fire-breathing Thresher Maws of Doom? That sounds like overkill. You'll see. It's great. Right, so, what are the rules? Kids game, remember? It's simple. Burn down all the other pieces on the map. You win. Well, I... Let me tell you something. I'm pretty great at burning things, as we've seen. I can work with fire. This is gonna be great. Born's bringing root snacks. Corkro's my favorite. I'll load up the many flamethrowers when the others get here. Well, at least the table's fireproof. I think. It's not. Yeah, just don't hit the drinks. Bartender will have a fit. So we're... Are we not gonna actually play? I wanna play. I don't believe it. You're putting me off. Oh, Dutch, would I lie to you? Yes. Yes, you would. Absolutely. Surfing a shuttle as it crash lands. Come on crash. now. I wanted to actually see that scene. Also, are Kesh and Vorn actually right. dating now? Cause that would be nice. So th is that done? That whole mission? Wow. That was disappointing. <laughs> okay, let's get this liquor. Yeah, you're gonna get Splatoon 2? Good choice. Uh, I think uh, switches are 300 in the US. Still. They probably won't go on sale until like Black Friday time or Christmas time. And even still, I doubt they would be... I, I don't think they'll, they're gonna go on sale much because the Switch is still selling really well, so... What? Wait, Carrie, where are you at? Girl, I heard you. There she is. Mission disappointment. Just a minute. average price for a console. I mean, kind of. Like, when the PS4 first came out, it was really expensive. Wasn't it, like, 600 bucks? It was very pricey when it first came out. You're back. My arrest was a clerical error. Translation, our heroic pathfinder took an interest, and now you're bad PR. Truth hurts. A pathfinder can handle the dangers out there. For us ordinary people, it's too much. I want to finish the documentary, take a stand for what matters. But what is that? What's best for the initiative? Mm.
Tough call. Uh, yeah, I think it's supposed to retail at 300 but it's possible Amazon has third-party sellers. Or it could just be higher because of demand, but they're supposed to be 300 People deserve the truth. Today and a thousand years from now. Let's give it to them. Okay, have your Sam give me everything it recorded in that remnant city. I'll give them raw footage, uncompromising every challenge we need to overcome. And that will be the grand finale to my documentary. I'm free to take a break with whomever I like. You mean... I hope you still feel that something. I still do. Meet me at Vortex later. We deserve a night out. Oh, can I cheat? Can I cheat? <laughs> Cause I'll do it. I hate Ray. <laughs> he ruined my life. He blocked my relationship with Joel. I'm very upset about it. They can't believe half of what I tell them. <laughs> T Jam says do it. Exactly. If you had a Switch, you'd probably get Breath of the Wild and then eventually Fire Emblem Heroes and maybe Mario Odyssey. Good choices. I am ready for Stardew Valley for Switch. I think that would be awesome. She said Vortex, right? Welcome to the Vortex. Hello. You made it. I ordered some snacks. You like these, don't you? I do, actually. Thank you. And I asked the bartender to signal if you're... if you know who comes by. It's funny, I know so much about you already. I guess this is your chance to get to know me. Then tell me everything, mysterious Miss Tavessa. Like, how did you get into journalism? My parents were ambassadors. I had a misspent youth sailing around the bay and going to fancy diplomatic parties. Thing is, a lot of politics gets decided at those parties. History's made, and... No one's watching. One day, I put down my cocktail and picked up a camera. And your parents were just fine with you filming all their important friends? Oh, goddess, no. They disowned me. Wow. But it brought me to Andromeda. And to you. I know what this is. Out there, you have another life. But when you come home, maybe we can belong together. Sure. Spending more time with someone like you? What more can I ask for? Try asking. I might surprise you. What if we skip out? Whoa. Have drinks at my place instead. What are we having? Frame rate. Whatever you'd like. So, did we or didn't we? Because that was pretty ambiguous. I'm a little confused. Does it tell me in my... <laughs> In the codex. <gasps> uh... Alright, romantic entanglements. Let's see. After a disastrous first date, you're in an exclusive relationship with a no notorious charlatan and secret leader of Kadaraport, Reyes Vidal. You had a brief but memorable fling with a sorry documentary filmmaker. Well, haha, <laughs> Rays, get bent. I think so, DJM, I think so. Uh, it's possible on Brianza Us, they often use the same ones, uh, the same actors from Dragon Age and uh, Mass Effect. Lynn says, if, if and when I get a Switch, I'd get Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart, Mario Odyssey, and go from there. I want more Switch games, man. I really like the console. It just needs more games. SteamWorld Dig 2 looks good, though. Double mod extension. Blah, blah, blah. Do you sell liquor? Do you? Oh, a model. I'll take that. And, ooh, a nomad model. I'll take that. 
and a Citadel model, I'll take that. And the Archon's flagship model. Who would make that, but I'll take it. Also, I should probably sell my salvage. Yes. <laughs> Jamuro says, are we hoeing around? We are, in fact, Jamuro. Wouldn't it be amazing if that fling would, like, disrupt my relationship and then I could, like, go with someone else, too? Be pretty awesome. Oh, there it was. There it was. That's some cheap booze. It was like nine dollars. Oh my gosh, frame rate, what are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? Alright, so we did that. Is there anything else on the Nexus to do? I don't know. Don't I don't think so. At least not right now. There are more indie games coming out for the Switch than full on games. I mean, I'm kinda glad that Nintendo is embracing indies because in the past they haven't, so it's kinda nice that they are now. Cause I think like some games would be so great portable. Like I feel like Stardew Valley would be amazing on the Vita or on the 3DS or something. And you know, by putting it on the Switch, you make it possible to be portable. So I really like that. I think that'll be awesome. Looking forward to that. I wish they would do the virtual console though, because like GBA games, that would be awesome. If you could play those on the Switch all about it. Great. Sam's ready to give you analysis of the data when you're ready. Pat That's button. great, Callow. Yeah, I accidentally got locked into a relationship with someone in the game. Jirachi Mew fan. Makes me sad. I know what I said, but your protein levels are on the low side. Doc, I'm missing three lungs. Who gives shit about protein levels? I do. Let her worry about you, old man. Romance. Lexi, I got your booze. No, I don't want to buy stuff. One bottle of the camphor, barely opened. It's medicinal, you understand. Uh huh. Cuts down hangovers, which will save PB and Drax from grief. Of course. Thank of course. You, Would you ask Liam when we're doing this? I've got a couple of things to finish up. All right. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. It is possible to date Jal. It's possible to date Jal, Liam, PB, Vetra, and some side people. I say, let's enjoy a few movies. And everyone else says, no, let's have an extravaganza with all the trimmings. You're complaining? No. Well, maybe, because now I need to do it all justice. You got me a decent library, but I heard someone has a director's cut of Last of the Legion, the band version, remastered, no crappy extras added for the Hannah. And you want me to look for it? Uh. It'd be the gold dusted cherry on your Sunday. In the meantime, I'll get things set. We're more than ready for a night in. Of course it's on Kadara. Of course it's on Kadara. Because where else would it be? <gasps> Jaw. Uh, what? Did you get my message? No. Doesn't matter. I have exciting news. And I wanted to tell you in person. Yes, I will Should be with I you. Sit down? Is that another idiom? Or... Yes, of course. Do what you like. Yeah, it's an idiom that means... Never mind. I've been offered an advancement in the resistance. And... My own command. That's great. I'm... Happy for you. But you don't sound... Ah... Uh, another idiom? Kinda. So... When did this happen? Recently. 
You know that I wasn't satisfied with my position and direction in the Resistance. Or life. True. Very true. Yes. After my successes with you, they see me with new eyes. But more importantly, so do I. So you get your own command? It's a covert squad, tech ops, commanding a small group of elite specialists that infiltrate advanced Ket sites. High danger, high reward. Mm. Would you consider turning it down? We've come to rely on you around here. Some of us even like you. <laughs> and I like them. Mostly. Okay, then. Should we head back to Aya? <laughs> what? Why? I'm not taking the position. But that's crazy. It's what you wanted. What I wanted, yes. But not what I needed. Not what I need. With your help, I broke free of expectation. I found my better self. Why can't we just be in a relationship? That's one of the nicest things anyone has said to me. Seriously. Good. No, really. You changed too, I think. More open, like a true Angara. Perfect. So, you're stuck with me now. <laughs> At least until this all plays out. Besides, you need me. Don't push your luck. But luck can't be pushed. <laughs> it comes to us in... Ah. Idiom. Yep. Shit. <laughs> that would have been a great romantic moment. But no. But no. <gasps> Ruin my life. Like us, Jal hates Cora. It's just editing a config file. Pretty much. You're living for Jal's baby Hi blue there. outfit. Just checking in. What's up? Nothing, I guess. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna equip that new gun. Mod it. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't need these. Uh, I should have took the mods out of it first. Probably. That's not... Okay, give me those back. There we go. Four mods. Jeez. Shotgun penetration damage, shotgun ammo penetration distance. Sounds good. Spare ammo. Take that too.
fine. I think I want... I think I want that to put in here. Alright, looks good. Look at all those mods. <laughs> it's crazy. Mm. Okay. Looks, looks good. That was really loud. What the heck? What the heck was that? There's a YouTuber that looks exactly like Cora. <laughs> really? This is now a Jal appreciation stream. Jal just needs a hug. He just really, really needs a hug. Ugh, fine, we'll go to Kadara and get this stupid movie. Fine, Liam, fine. there to be a Zelda Redead Apocalypse game? What, where there's just Redeads around everywhere? I'd be pretty surprised if Nintendo ever made a Zelda zombie game. I will say. No orbits in Kadara. Kat just texted me. She's playing Splatoon. Girl, I'm streaming. <laughs> Girl. Oh yeah, Umbrian Zaras knew exactly who you're talking about. That's interesting. You want a Legend of Zelda slash Skyrim, Skyrim game where you could play as either Link or Zelda. It would be nice for Zelda to be playable. I know, every time we think we're done with Kadara, we end up back... We end up back here, don't we? I wish Reyes would break up with me, because he'd find out about Carrie. That would make my life... Hey, dude. Don't mind the dirt. Uh, I mind the dirt. Wow. Blasto 8, The Biotic Awakens, a special OSD of The Last of Legion. Critically panned upon its release, but popular on Turian military bases. <laughs> okay. Well, then. Mm. Assault rifle and pistol mods. There's a shotgun mod. Me. All right, we got the movie.
We have the movie. Uh... Oh, I was gonna go tell Ray's that I cheated on him, but he is in the slums. He's not here. So. Nope, you can't break up with characters, unfortunately. If I could, I would have done so a long time ago. Nothing. Big up and say. Keep walking, asshole. Just look out for those crates. Fragile stuff. Don't touch anything. I swear I didn't bump into anything. Oh, I know. Just in case you wanted to take a seat or something. I'm not that rude, am I? Oh, I don't know. You tell me, Ryder. Girl? Rude? <laughs> See you later, Umbreon's RS. Thank you for joining us. We have the movie, what other 25 things do we need to get? <laughs> Accurate. Lynn says you can't break up with them, you're stuck with your choice. Or you're not choice, which is what happened to me, because I didn't really choose him. You don't choose the shitty romance, the shitty romance chooses you. Talk when you're free. No. Never. Never ever. But I will talk to Callow. That's what the Salarian Ark was worth to our officers? Thousands of lives for maybe a future advantage against the Kit? I suppose you agreed, since you let those traitors walk free. Nothing would help those people who died or got exalted. But this way, it wasn't for nothing. Certainly not. You got a vague promise from a known liar in return. Well? Well? I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. That was uncomfortable. Liam, I got your movie. Where is he going so fast? Last of the Legion. This is what you wanted, right? Wait, you actually found it. That version's practically a myth. It really wasn't to hard. Food, Jarl and Gil said they can rig something up in your quarters. If you need a minute to clean up, no problem. Just hit the console when you're good to go. Um, I obviously look amazing as is. Silly Liam. Callous, are you angsty? Yeah, he's mad at me. Well, sorry, dude. I didn't want to let those guys go either, but I thought the intel might be useful. I wanted to take the intel and shoot them, but I guess that wasn't an option. All right, let's do this movie they night. Need you, Jorax. I know you left the Legion. I never left the Legion. They left me. <laughs> but I know my duty. All right, folks, we can sit through a training montage with what many critics describe as excessive Turian flexing. <laughs> no such thing. There really is. Or we can fast forward to a ship crashing into an asteroid crashing into a moon. Fast forward to the crash. Ah, oh, montage. Don't cut bits off. I'd go for the crash. Forwarding to the action scene, going once, going twice. Skip to the good stuff, Liam. Boo! It's a vacuum. The ship explosion would be silent. I hope that's not the voice of experience talking. Guess they wanted their money's worth. They actually blew up the derelict with that shot. Too bad the script wasn't caught in the blast. My strike team will hit the enemy cruiser, General. Force is the only thing fanatics understand. Why a strike team? Torpedo the cruiser! That's overkill. Get one engineer aboard, cut life support and engines, problem solved. And leave them stuck on a hostile ship? One torpedo, over by lunch. <laughs> I think a charm offensive might be more rewarding. Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you're 
irresistible hero. Pretend to be Jaw. Eat up armor, enticing scars, and soulful eyes. Yeah, yeah. The old dinner and drinks to show off my villainy. They get cozy. And then strike. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Why spoil the evening? Speaking of, time for another round. Anyone for a Varus jaw? Or a euphemistically delicious? Wait, lesson. Okay, Navi. He was a sidekick. They die like goldfish. No acting like overacting. Even Ryder could do better. Shut up, Cora. If I wanted to. Oh, really? Come on, show us. I'll be dead for you. <laughs> okay. We're not actually watching the movie. You were gonna say sexy, Ryder. So uh, Ryder, I can't feel my, I can't feel my gallbladder. Uh, do you even have a gallbladder? <laughs> oh, no, it's worse than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Do you even have a gallbladder? Let's stick with the overacting Turian. I swear to love you a thousand times. A oh, thousand Drak and hours. Drak and I are getting cuddly. Oh, See that? Torak. So many years lost. We were so foolish. Our hearts are one. No enemy fleet, no sea of stars can ever separate us again. Joel's looking at me. You saw it. You all saw it. <laughs> we got viability points for that. Wow. Uh, Souls Monkey cheered 100 bits and says best part ever. And we got a Tempest model for that. Jamara says, oh, that was cute. See, like, I, I want more stuff like that in these games. Even if it's like DLC, like the Citadel DLC from Mass Effect 3 was hilarious. It was so funny. And I want more stuff like that in games, you know, where it's like lighter and just silly. Oh, that was great. Just a thought to Ryder from Lexi. The, the crew's morale was boosted by movie night, so I thought we could make it a regular thing. I've got vids from of great extranet series, including Blue's Anatomy. <sighs> great drama, but enough action to keep Liam happy. Also, dreamy Turians with fringe that can't be natural. <laughs> anyway, just a thought. Oh, man, do Turians get fringe enhancements? I guess they do. Wow. Look at all my ships. Look at them. How am I missing so many? Well, not a lot, but a few. Oh, there's my hamster. Hey, dude. Jack and PB got knocked out. H Smooth says, let's accidentally let your boyfriend get exalted and then you can date Joel. Exactly. Exactly. We should make this happen. It's very important. Well, went to the bathroom. In the escape pod room. You should be too. Hint, hint. Hi, PB. I guess we'll go uh, visit PB there. All right, so this is the crew message board. Dinner tonight, fine Grinian roast, fresh vegetables. The roast will be in the galley oven most of the day. Don't open the door to check on it, Drac. 
PB says, when will it, it be ready? Smells dreamy. Drax says, I said don't touch it. The juices have to settle properly. PB says, it tastes pretty good already. Drax says, thieves get sandwiches. Lost and found. Callow soap opera? They'll stay lost unless he stops watching them at full volume while I'm trying to nap, <laughs> says Vetra. Uh, Dynasty of Stars is not a soap opera. It's a historic award-winning extranet drama. How many Turian dramas run for over 70 seasons? Dear God. Says Callow. Vetra says, Solarian casts age out a lot faster than Turian ones, and ours are quieter. I swear to keep the sound down. Please, Vetra. It's bad enough we came to Andromeda before I saw how the trade fleet arc was resolved from Gallo. Suvi says, transmission signals go a long way. We might eventually catch the 600-year rerun. <laughs> also, Smunky, thank you for the 100 bits. I'm assuming you're going to work. I'll see you later. Your chat box said that I'm hosting. Hold on a second. It's being... I'm gonna... It shouldn't be... Should not be saying that. I don't know what its problem is. I might have to turn off auto hosting until it gets itself figured out, unfortunately. But. I can't really do that right now. So hopefully it's still working okay. Proficiency training, firearms, biotic offense, and defense. If you need to brush up your skills, now's a good time. Drac and I are running proficiency courses in the cargo bay for those off-duty. We have simulation weapons for target practice, but the biotics will be real, so wear protective gear. See you there, Cora. Stuvia says, I'll be there. Fair warning, I'm a little jumpy. Drac says, since when do you fire anything meatier than survey probes? Stuvia says, since I've known I might need to. Liam says, I'm in. Show me something. That sounds like somebody's gonna die. If that happens. Grey's Anatomy season 100. Better if the Tempest had a main gun. Home's not built for it. The recoil would blow out all our fancy windows. What defenses does the ship have? Kinetic barriers to handle space debris. The stealth drive. And us. Okay, where is Jol? I can always hear him, but I don't know where he is. We always seem to be so close, but never close enough. You mean the Remnant City, Meridian? I was so sure we'd reached the end. I had a bottle of Drossix Blue ready to go. I hope you're planning to share that. So I can wake up to the headlines, Pathfinder, Pathfinds Victory, laid low by Turian Brew. Not a party unless I'm passed out at the end. Wow. From your stomach literally exploding? Why don't I find something better suited to humans? Hopefully we'll have something to celebrate soon. I hope so. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. Jaw is in your heart. Me. I can always hear him. God, Liam, get rid of that damn couch. It's time. Alright, PB wanted to see us, so... We should go talk to her. Back from steak, it was delish. Awesome. Everybody is having steak. I'm glad yours was good. So my buddy Jill, who, by the way, can't stop singing your praises, wants to have a baby. And this is my problem, and, how? Uh, stop me if you've heard this one before. She asked me if I'd father it. Wow. That's huge. Right? What the hell are you going to do? I don't know. I'm still in the freaking out phase. Would it be totally crazy if I said yes? Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's crazy. I mean, we're already family. I get her, she gets me, and we support each other unconditionally. Wanting to give someone what they want most in the world is love, Gil. I hear you. And you know I've been thinking about it, Ryder, becoming a dad. I don't want to just be a donor. Bringing a kid into the world wouldn't be enough for me. I'd want to raise the child with Jill. Sounds like you know what you want. Yeah. It's funny, you can think until you're blue in the face. Sometimes you just gotta trust your gut. I still think we should take care of the cat problem before this 
happens. Also, there are still people in cryo, so... I don't... understand. I'm very happy for you, Gil. For both of you. Thanks, Ryder. Or should I say, Auntie Pathfinder? No. No, no, a million times, no. Oh, there's Jal. Jal, you live in my heart. I always have time for you. Uh, really? I'll see you later, Jal. Stay strong and clear. All right, PB, where you at? What'd you want? Nah, I don't think so, Scarlet Vixen. I think we'll all be dead before that happens. Jen Carson. I shook her hand once at a fundraiser and I left with something about wanting to look under her dress. What? No, I didn't. I wanted to see how it worked. Prototype smart textile, changing colors in response to sound. And there was also a lot of champagne. Hey, Peeves, what'd you want? Hi there. Just checking in. What's up? Did you- Didn't she ask to see me? <laughs> Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. She definitely asked to see me. What did you want? I don't have any email. What the heck? That's weird. That's really strange. Alright. Um, yeah, it's 9.40. It's not quite 10 o'clock. But I think I'm going to go for tonight. Um, 